want to say surprise to my family and friends. Surprise, yeah, no kidding. Sorry, but... <laughs> Thanks for keeping us in the Hi, everyone. My name's Ashley, um, and I'm going to read a letter that Vaughn wrote for Abe. Oh. She says, Dear Abe, words can't describe how much you mean to me, but I'm going to try. While we have been together, I have noticed so many things that I love about you, and I would like to take the time to mention just a few of my favorites. People say it's the little things in life that can make us happy. I appreciate the little things that you do for me daily to make my mornings better, such as setting out my favorite coffee mug and always making sure my brown sugar jar is full. <laughs> One of the most prominent things about you is your love for sweet surprises. These include tickets to the opera, researching places to eat and then planning dinner dates, and a recent trip to the dog festival. <laughs> I often find that I ask myself the question, where would I be without you? You have opened up my world and shown me new destinations that I never would have gone to if I was on my own, like my first time to the opera. Even going shopping with you is an adventure, and you are always so patient with me, especially when I'm trying on clothes, and you wait outside the dressing room waiting for my questions, such as, what do you think, and how do I look? And you always respond, you look fine, babe. <laughs> Another thing I love about you is your intelligence. I remember when we first started dating, you would send me texts with big words, and I would take a minute to respond because I had to look them up. <laughs> Besides the fact that you are smart, you are also my rock. Even when I have experienced insecurity through my dreams of owning my own business, you have always been there to reassure me that I can make my dreams possible. When things are crazy, you like to tell me to be in the right, and because of you, I am able to pursue my dreams and passion to run a center, even though sometimes I can drive you a little crazy. It is because of you that I'm able to be who I am. You always take the responsibility of worrying about where we are, and I know without a doubt I can always lean on you. It amazes me how positive you are throughout everything we go through. Even though we would be driving to appointments, you would be focused on work, and it amazes me how positive you are through everything. I can't help it, but I am always in love with you. When I first met you, I knew you were a family man from the get-go, through the way you cared for your mom and now your dad. I could never ask for a better husband, friend, and soon-to-be father to our child. And although we are excited to meet Sophia, I already know that you are going to be a great father because of how amazing you are with our fur baby, Phoebe. <laughs> like you always say, Phoebe is our firstborn. Aww. One of my favorite downtimes with you is our walk, and you always like to tell me that that is your precious thing that we try to do daily. And now we can continue those walks with Sophia as we walk down the green belt. All these things are amazing about you, but there are a few flaws, like picking up your laundry, or cleaning up after you cook, because you're the chef in this relationship. And last but not least, you are notorious for leaving floss all around the house. <laughs> in all seriousness, though, you are the perfect man. You are spiritual and welcome my Catholic religion, and you have always believed in me, and we believe in each other. I know that your mom would be looking down smiling on you today. Today you came here to celebrate Sophia, but everyone here is not only celebrating her, but also because our friends and family believe in us. I always love you, but today I choose to love you forever and always, unconditionally. You are my rock and my support. I am so happy to share this day with you, my family, childhood friends, and my son Trey family. I can't wait to look back on all these memories, especially the ones that we are beginning today. At the end of the day, it is you who I want to come home to and that I look forward to seeing. You are the love and the light of my life, and I promise to love you, Phoebe and Sophia, with all my heart. And as a preface, uh, I was not afforded the opportunity to write a letter. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that she wanted to upstage me, so it was a just write something short to Sophia. So, uh, that's uh, the context. <laughs>